Anthony Ferraro, Dan Mancina, two blind guys collide to bring you Four Bad Eyes Podcast. And action. We're back. Back, back, back. Four back Bad Eyes. Again. Dan Mancini and Anthony Ferraro here. Two back. blind gentlemen. Tell a friend. True Guess who's gentlemen back. we are. Guess who's back. Guess We're a dying back. breed. And then, the and then, We're a dying and breed of the blind, dude. There's <laughs> less blind every day, you know? Dude, They're curing glaucoma. Probably... Mr. Beast is curing cataracts. They're curing cataracts. They're curing freak. They're giving people injections. We're a dying breed, dude. I want one of those. The injections? I don't know anything. Anything. Anything? Anything. Anything. Cause I'm a renegade. Um, yeah, dude. I want some injections. Dude, injections were the worst, actually. Really? You had to get them? Did they help? Uh, every month, dude. Every month I go and they poke my eyeball. I've talked about it before, dude. Yeah, clearly it didn't. It's nausea, dude. No, it sucked. Nauseating. But if, if they said, hey, this is going to give you some vision back, yeah, that'd be tight. I'd do it. I'd get yeah. injected. And Gramps got the injection and helped him read a couple. But now every time I call him, he's 97. And he's like, Anthony, I'm getting closer and closer to you every day. <laughs> he's losing the vis too, huh? Yeah. He's Wait, does he have the LRC AGB QR? He's got elemental P. Um, he has what is it? Uh, MACD Gen. Oh, he's got the MD. He's a doctor. Yeah, MD, dude. MD Bill. MD wet. MD dry. I don't know. Is that a thing? Uh, yeah, it's wet and dry. I don't know what they mean. I don't remember anything from my schooling. Yeah, VRTs do everything except O and M. Hey, everything from A to Z, but O and M. That's it. I kind of want a leader dog, dude. No, they. I feel I do like, and I don't. This is my thing with guide dogs. I feel like they're good if you're. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. Don't say it. No, I'm saying it. If what? If you're lazy. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Shots fired. I need a gun shot oh. emoji. No, but hear me out. Soundbite. <clears throat> no, the people travel the world with dogs. Yeah, no. All right. There's an exception. It's not all, but guide dogs, like, they're only trained for like certain routes. Maybe on my knowledge is like you went to a leader dog school, but I feel like they're they have like their couple routes they have down. You have to be a great traveler without the dog. To use the dog, yeah, correctly. From what I understand, and and some people think they getting the dog, they'll become a great traveler. Yeah, you can I just go, they'll just they'll actually my, guide you, but you're yeah, guiding the dog. Be, yeah, you exactly. are guiding the dog. It becomes almost more work for you. You're only as good as the dog. Yes, still so, work. Yeah, yeah, but it just sounds nice to not be smacking in the crap. Dude, that's the one thing is they do. Um, you know what I mean? They yeah, they will help you not nope. smack. Cause I hate you won't the be hitting your head on as much crap. Yeah, yeah. get you. Yeah, Glad you're around that stuff. But um, here's the other thing is yeah, I'm not, I'm not supporting your lazy comments. Dude, you're gonna get some hate, dude. I know. Well, I took it back. You helped educate me. It was yeah. off the cusp. I should have I should have thought. I, my brain isn't working well. I'm cutting weight. Because uh -oh. I hear about all the, like I am on the the uh, part of the, the Facebook page for Leader Dogs for the Blind. And there's always people like, just retired my dog. She's been to 10 countries, 30 states, and five cruises and all this stuff. So the, their people are moving with them. Oh, that's good. Take them all over, yeah. Here's the thing. No, guide dogs are good. They're good. But... They they need routine, Jerry. You gotta be in a you gotta schedule. Be in a, yeah, yeah, that's what that oh, sorry. Not lazy. They're very routine ha habitual. They need mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. need to be uh going those routes that you train them on. Yeah, I like switching up my here's my, my sleep schedule, everything gets all switched up. All here's my qualm. Is that the right word? Qualm. Yeah, qualm. Yeah. I never use that. Your qualm, Kilpatrick. Here's my qualm. Qualm. My qualm, qualm is uh, qualm. Cuomo. 
uh, my qualm is that sometimes you'll, you'll have the people with the guide dogs reinforcing them with treats. Why do you have to reinforce a dog that went through schooling for two years? Uh, uh, it's only when you train. Oh, bear, it's only when you train them. <clears throat> no, this is people that have gotten guide dogs. I mean, you want to give, give them, them a treat. treat sometimes. No, you know? but when you're out doing go, work. Buddy. Yeah, give them a little here. Go, buddy. Thanks. Good job. Maybe they're training a new route. Maybe they're on a new route. Yeah, but why do you have to? Because it's a dog. You give dog treats. Just like every dog now and wrong. then. Just like every now and then, you know, you bust open a bag of Doritos. You know what I mean? Leave Oreos. You got to give yourself a treat, too. Yeah. All right. I, I'm going to get a lot of hate, but. Yeah, I, guess so. I, I can hear. I can hear the is. dog users yelling at me right whoa, whoa, now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, freaking. Uh, no, I don't know much about it. I think a German stuff. Shepherd is a is the most serious guy. Oh yeah, I would want a German Shep. Yeah, plus co German Shepherd. Yeah, dude. yeah, German Shep all the way. Labs be luxury. too goofy. <laughs> no, I mean you know. You know, they, they only train the good ones. The I other know. ones get repurposed. Yeah. To like, uh, like, he like therapy dogs. Day, yeah. I don't know, like courtroom. All, they have all kinds of different jobs. Police dogs, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. What I do they know. call it? Re, re, um, what do they call that? I think I got to experience a guy. I'm checking. Yeah. I want to take one for a little test drive. Yeah. I did you have, do that. I had one under my hands one time, dude. How'd it feel? It felt good. She was still in training, so she was kind of a little squirrely. Yeah. <laughs> but it was that they move fast, dude. A lot. You know how me? I move slow. Yeah. Even the even well, they, the trainer. They, shout out to Leslie Hoskins, my O and M trainer back LH. in the day. She uh, she she's like, oh yeah, you need a, you need a slow dog. Yeah, they <laughs> compare them to your temperament. Yeah, they like, like you, yeah, you get to meet dog, a couple. You're a fast walker that, that requires a specific breed. Yeah. I think goldens are slower. It's just whoever whoever you're vibing with, dude. You ever, pair you up. It's funny, the guide dogs, except for the poodle, are uh real shedders. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta clean all that crap yeah. too, yeah. Yeah, they've you know I don't know. I've seen people that are too gun ho about their little GD. Because you can, some people, they literally can go everywhere with them. That and the GPS, and they are free, man. Yeah. I'm all for freedom. I'm all for uh, independence. NCR, dude. No cane required. Yeah, that is pretty cool. But I would feel, I would take feel a little lost used without my key. Yeah, take some getting you, and then the next thing you know, you'd feel... You get used to the dog, and you'd be like, "Oh my god, I don't even, couldn't even use a cane right now." You exactly. know what I mean? But you do have to have good O and M skills to be able to get a dog. Yeah, very good, very good. Uh, yeah, you knowing you, if you used your cane while using your dog, you'd be whapping your dog. Oh yeah, oh yeah, like, I flap oh. everything, dude. Stay out of my way. <laughs> um, you ever get this? I was was at the gym tonight, and I. I walk past someone. I don't even know I walk past them, but they're out of my way, and I keep going. And they're like, from behind me, they yell, "I'm sorry." Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, and I'm like, like "Excuse me, for what? You're behind me." I thought you, that maybe like yeah, I don't know. I think it's just people moving out of the way. Like oh shoot, sorry, I didn't realize yeah, you were yeah. blind or something. Maybe they maybe they didn't see the cane. Did you have your cane? Yeah. Always. Yeah, probably didn't see your cane at first. And then they were like, that guy's a jerk. And then like, oh, oh, he's blind. I'm sorry. Maybe something like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, Here's well, a blind guy. Better than there's a blind guy, though. <laughs> <laughs> look, a blind guy. Or that, I said, look, a blind guy. Dude, I'm a mess right now. My beard. I haven't. I, I couldn't uh, tell you when I shaved my beard. beard the last time. I was. I was just saying. I gotta wake up early before my flight. Tomorrow. Yeah, you leave for Chile. You gotta shave. You shaving the beard, dude. Uh, I'm gonna just trim it up. Did you already get braided? Yeah, got braided. Who braided is up. I got. Calling me now. Oh, it's Randy. It's his birthday. I love. Shout out to Randy it's Smith. Eating. Happy birthday, Randy. Randy. Oh, I like Randy. Is that who? <laughs> at my table, right? 
Uh-huh. Yep. He was on the podcast, the wedding up. Yeah, in, yeah. Uh, Randy Jackson. Yeah. Randy. Randy. Shout out to R, dude. RS. Randy Smith. S. Randy R. Smith grind, dude. Gator Randy Smith. Although I don't think he does Smith grinds too much. Dude, I ran for 55 minutes tonight. You ran straight? Yeah. Well, on an elliptical, but heavy resistance. And 10 Dude, that, that used to be my move an hour on the elliptical, full resistance. Oh, 15. And you can burn like 11, 1200 calories. That's yeah, I, I think I did gain it, burned about a thousand. Yeah, well, an hour on the elliptical gets you over Oof. over 1k. It, it is. You used to do that? Yeah, I used to do like every day. I, I was yeah. doing, I would do, I did like two hours one time to oh, see, right. see if I could hit 2000. Next, I wanted to do a day, a daily. Now, did you have water court. on it with you? Uh, you no, I, don't, I wouldn't usually know water, no. Yeah. No water. But you start sweating. Oh, no. Yeah, I, dude, I do it in sweatpants. Two sweatshirts and a long sleeve. Yeah, dude, you're dripping on those I'm things. I'm dripping. And I... Uh, the elliptical, some of them are like... I hate when you get a weird one that you're not dude, used to. Dude, some of them are... The resistance is too... Like, I can't go all the way up. Yeah. This is and, this is one of those. Yeah, and like I've put I don't know. You know, I, like I can't burn enough calories on that thing. I don't know if they're all different or not accurate, but yeah, the, I don't think the accurate the calorie count is super accurate. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I am freaking beat. Dude. But I used to I used to do it. I used to burn a thousand calories and be like, okay, I, I can drink ten Michelob Ultras now. <laughs> <laughs> Would be uh, eleven hundred calories. Oh, or like a yeah. thousand calories and be like, yeah. I can, or I can drink eleven. I can drink eleven, make all, like, and I would just burn thousand calories, and then drink like eight to ten Nick Ultras that mm-hmm. night, and I would still lose weight when I was like cutting. So it worked. The caloric was somewhat correct. Yeah, no, it it does. It's close enough. I'm like, on my Burt Chrysler, that's like the Burt Chrysler diet, right? It is. He'll burn <laughs> a bunch of calories just to drink. Just to do it or whatever. Yeah. Do it whatever he did the day before. <laughs> then he drinks a gallon of Kool-Aid. Jesus, what? Yeah, that is bad. A gallon of Kool-Aid? A gallon of Kool-Aid. Dude, I smacked a whole, a full bag of cheddar, cheddar caramel corn yesterday. Oh, cheddar like caramel? A, yeah, yeah, yeah. The oh, Chicago caramel, style. Cheddar? Oh, oh, I think I had that at your house. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, <laughs> we see. We we should have the Costco bag, the big yeah. one. Like, just like a regular size, which is like, there's got to be like ten servings in that thing. Dude, when I cut weight, all I do is dream about what I want to eat. Oh, it's so dude. tough. It's, it's miserable. Jesus, who is calling you now? This is Brian. Hang, on, I got an thing. All right, hello, good old Brian. This is uh, Dan's stepdad. Good man. He's part of the Million Club, Mile Club. He's, uh, works okay. For good old JBL. He's a good man. He's a yeah. outstanding citizen. Rides his bike everywhere. Yeah. Okay. That's Rides good. Thousands of miles on that thing. His uh, wife will drive to the party. Dan. Dan's. Brian will uh, ride his bike. He's a bike rider. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sounds trails. cool. And, uh, Saturday, Sunday. ABL, yep. folks. Okay. I am tired. But, uh, okay, babe. So, uh, yeah, calling about those guide dogs. I'm sorry if yep. I ruffled any feathers i didn't mean it mean no harm love a dog have a dog trained her to be service she does task train okay and uh she's a good girl yep no no qualms with guide dogs (laughs) tell big b i said hey Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Got it. Got it. Yep. No, whatever. Whatever works is good. All right. Yep. All right. Bye. <laughs> Anthony, we're keeping the action going. I didn't say hi for you. Sorry. I know. 
Oh, people are, gonna, <laughs> people are gonna hate. That. I had to answer. That. We were setting up uh, travel stuff for LA. Oh, nice. Are you going this weekend? <sighs> no, going in December. Oh, um, jeez, make me up. No, but I got a. We got an email. We got an email here. We got a voicemail from our buddy Lucas here over here in Aussie. Oh, I'm down under. I'm down under. Where's this at? Ah, oh, here we go. So yeah, people, you can call in this one. They just emailed us a little voice message. That works. That works Make sure too. it's accessible. You, you guys did. ready? Yeah. Turn the volume up here. Yo, four bad eyes boys. It's uh, <laughs> Lucas Casper here. Your homie from Down Under in Oz. Down Under. Uh, the artist fella that painted that custom four bad eyes piece in uh, in the studio. I, think it's right I thought right I'd call right. in with a question, touch base with you guys. The yep. first one would be, have you been to Australia? Uh, and if you haven't been to Australia, what you'd like to see or what you've heard, just keen to get your uh, perspective on Oz. And the second one is, have you ever encountered drop bears? So if you've been to Oz or if you haven't been to Oz, these little critters can really get you when you're walking out bush. Uh, drop bears, you can sort of picture what they do and what they're known for. They're nasty little critters. I know Ant-Man uh, has a fun time picturing what animals look like in his mind. So I'd be keen <laughs> to hear your perspective on that. And um, yeah, much love from Oz. Keep killing it, keep kicking it. And I'll keep listening while I'm painting. Cheers, boys. Catch up. Look at Wait, a drop bear? I don't know what the hell a drop bear is. How big is it? How big is it? How big is it? Is it really a bear? Little critter. Yeah, I was. He's saying critter. Then I'm hearing bear. They come at you. They come at you. A drop bear. I don't know what a drop bear is, Lucas. Dude, I'm now my mind's blown. I'm scared of drop bears already. Well, I'm scared of the bush in Australia. The bush, dude. Although I would like to go ripping and tearing in the bush on like a on like a four wheeler, and in a vehicle that's enclosed, yeah, a, a Polaris type, where I cannot be, you know, like side by side, yeah, side by side, where I can't be bit by poisonous things, dude. They got those uh, sp- spiders out there, right? They got everything, everything that can kill you, and their sharks can kill you. You're not safe on land or water. Their dude. jellyfish can kill you. And their jellies, dude, and land or sea, dude. Have you and ever their, been to And Aussie? their food will kill you. The Aussie, the Aussie mite, the, the veggie mite. Oh, the veggie mite. You were a fan. That'll kill you. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. I've never been to Australia, though. I've actually always wanted to go. It's a place. I have to. Because my brother, uh-huh. my brother John, big surfer, he's gone there for, he spent a semester abroad there in yeah. little Wollongong. Um, I'd like to go. Is Jeffrey's Bay? Is that Australia? J Bay? Yeah, I think so. Or it's South Africa, but I I believe it's Australia. I like to go to the Great Barrier Reef. Yep. Um what else? Everything just sounds everything you hear is just like it's nice and clean, great public transportation. Everything the US doesn't have, you know what I mean? I'd like to go to McDonald's and get a Rue burger. Beautiful women. Beautiful, uh, beautiful weather. My my cousin Leo went there. He studied abroad, and he uses too much ketchup on everything. And they were like, <laughs> "Whoa, mate, take it easy with the tomato sauce, mate." Yeah, the tomato sauce. Yeah, um, disgusting, dude. What is he? Is he Canadian? Leo, who is this? My cousin Leo. Oh, he's your cousin, not from yeah. Canada then. No, no, he's from here. He just loves oh. ketchup, huh? Yeah, loves ketchup. How but, old is he? Like six? <laughs> he's like thirty-three. That's good. Take it easy on the tomato sauce. Oh, it is tomato sauce, dude. It's a better name for it than ketchup. Um, the only thing that deters me from tomato Aussie, paste. It's like a paste. I like a tomato paste. <laughs> I like ketchup. Grew up on it. Um, but the only thing that deters me from going to Australia is the eighteen twenty-three hour travel. Dude, that's what everyone says. It's brutal. Yeah, brutal. What's the time difference? I don't even know, dude. 48 like hours? Different day, dude. <laughs> 13 hours? I don't know. Yeah, that's what it is in Tokyo. Something way different. Here, I can ask. Let me ask what time yeah, it see is. See what time in, it is in Aussie. In Sydney. 
Oh my God, turn my... It's 9.57 p.m. here. So 10 o'clock here. What time is it in Sydney, Australia? It's Tuesday, November 14th, 2023 in Sydney, Australia. That's not the it's, time. Yeah, wait, what? It's That's Tuesday. Tuesday. the date. So it is a day later. It's more than a day, I feel like. What time is it? Now? What time is it in Sydney, Australia? In Sydney, Australia, it's 1.57 p.m. 1.57 on 57 Tuesday? 1.57 p.m. on Tuesday. Wait. What? Right? So, <laughs> so because it's Sunday here, it's ten o'clock here. It's Sunday, Sunday it's, and it's 10. two. It's two o'clock. That's like thirty-six hours, mate. It's insane. That's crazy. I can't do it. Wait, what? <laughs> so when you I travel home, it. you're going back into time, dude. It's yeah. Everyone says it's it's a rough one. That, I mean, you just got to do a long trip, you know, so you got plenty of time to adjust. And... Wait, dude, I can't get past this. It's two days later. One day? Well, no, no, not two days. It's well, just, okay. it's the next day there right now. No, because it's Sunday here, and it's Tuesday. Today's there. Monday. It's Monday right now. Oh, my gosh. I am mine. <laughs> oh, my God. You leave on uh, you leave tomorrow. Yeah, I do. I'm not Chile. I'm not okay, folks. Um yeah, I did three sessions in the sauna tonight. 11, 12, 1, 2. Yeah, so it's 14 hours ahead there. All right. Um what are you trying to cut a bunch of weight right now? Yeah. I didn't I'm I'm a little like last time you were all prepped and ready to go. You yeah, were only a few pounds. I'm a little pissed at myself. I I did the diet, but I didn't do it as strict. I was <sighs> snacking here and there, not being BLTs, dude. Bites, licks, and tastes. It'll get it you. all gets you. Especially when you're cutting so much when you're already when you're in dieting mode, any little bit you put on, your body just sucks oh, it and dude, takes, holds it, dude. I broke down, ate a couple slices of pizza the other night. Oh, that'll that put you back a pound and a half, did. probably. Oh, terrible. All the salt. And then my stomach was torn up because I wasn't used to it. The cheese? You haven't eaten yeah, cheese? Right? Yeah. Cheese. Oh, yeah. I don't eat cheese. And then, that'll uh, get you. Yeah, and then I was at a one-year-old birthday party yesterday, and I ate two pieces of the sub. <laughs> Go oh, the yeah. dude! I cannot resist. I can't a, resist a, the sub with good a bread. cold cut sub. Oh, it was at a party, turkey oh, sub, God. Italian sub. Oh, yeah, dude, man. I'll put them I was, down. If if I was free, I would have eaten the whole foot long, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I I there was a whole tray left, and I would have been yeah. cleaning up. I think I have a. My name's Anthony Ferraro, and I have a food addiction. I do. I have a severe food addiction. Dude, you do not have a food addiction. I have a food addiction. <laughs> oh, dude. You don't understand. I can eat to the point of disgust. Like, I can yeah. eat and, and do it all over again. As soon I do as that weekly, really, dude. <laughs> yeah, I do the same thing. When I'm in fat mode, I, I all I do is eat. Dude, same. And it's just like, oh, you're not going to eat that? I'll eat that. I'll literally gain a pound over a pound a day. I for weeks. I try and persuade Kelly what to order for her dinner if we go out to eat, just so I can eat half of that plus my <laughs> meal. <laughs> I am not good. I if if I didn't work out, if I didn't have have a sport where I had to watch my weight. Oh my I god! Would, if I didn't skate, yeah, same. I would be. I'd be two twenty. Yeah, dude. I am. I'm. I'm getting close to 200 right now. No. Yeah, I'm probably like 190. Really? Yeah, I've been munching, dude. Oh, Daniel. What have you been yeah, munching? I lose it quick. I've been yeah. coming. I go. I've been coming up and down. You know. Yeah, what I mean? up and down. Up and it's ups and up and down. You know, I was back down to like 170 something like a couple weeks ago, and then I was just. I'm a fluctuator too. I can gain 10 pounds in two days if I want. Easy, dude. Because it's, it's also because I I drank this weekend too, 
I don't even bunch. drink because I don't. I'm like, why waste the calories on that? I'm just gonna. Oh, I don't even calories. I ain't even thinking about calories. Well, I don't either. But I'm like, yeah, I'll just get fat from that. But <laughs> I'd rather get fat. Have more room for food. Yeah, dude. It's tough, dude. I'm addicted to food for sure. That's my that's my main thing that I can never I can never kick. I can't fully yeah. kick that. Like, I'll just go weeks on. Weeks at a time of just eating whatever I want. Yeah, and it's to the point where you, you. So the first couple times you do it, you feel gross, and then you get adapted to the grossness. It just becomes normal feeling. It's normal. Yeah. yeah, and then you think when you're like a couple pounds later, you're like oh, I'm I'm skinny right now, but you are <laughs> not. <That's laughs> no, dude, me, exactly. Dude. Oh, it's bad. It's bad. Yeah, dude. But uh. I need someone else around me who can be like, yo, dude, you need to not eat that. <laughs> I wish I had a partner. I wish I had a, a like a partner who was just like a supermodel and who didn't eat at all. <laughs> we both, me and Heather both love to eat. You know what I mean? Yeah, so do me and Kelly. He won't turn me down. I, we'll go. We don't want to go to a country if the food's not good. <laughs> yeah that's our main thing yeah, yeah it's like eating that's like my main check literally I'm... our whole our schedule is eating what's for dinner yes what, what do you think I, about tomorrow i will look up restaurants in new places for like an hour just seeing what the best of what yeah it... what sounds the best yeah like what we're like who's gonna that place doesn't sound like they have big portions I'm and you know what the problem is <laughs> uber eats or doordash or whatever I will look at restaurants forever and I'll be like, well, I want some of this, but this is also good too. Yeah. Then dude. finally pick a spot and I order like three different meals from it. Yep. This is Brian again. Oh my God. Oh. Brian. Yeah. So I'm just dreaming over here about food. Um, I think in like Chile, the food's supposed to be incredible. But the only problem is I go to Chile and okay. I have to cut for three days and then go to, um, and then I compete. Not yet. I'm waiting for him to hit me uh, back. For three or four days, compete. And then I have like but two days. I'll let you know. Yep. I'm, I'm recording a podcast. And I'm right now, going but... to munch. But the problem is I can't right. really munch yep. All right, bye. because I have to go All to right. Tokyo. Brian says hi, everybody. Yep. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go to Tokyo oh, sorry. seven days later and make weight. So I am screwed here, pal. You say you got to make weight, cut weight, or make weight? So I got to, I, this is my, this is my dilemma. Usually after Chile. competition, I get nice and plump, but <laughs> I can't get too plump. Oh, your turnaround's is, too quick? It sucks, dude. I, I go to Chile. I was supposed to stay an extra seven days. Can't stay an extra seven days now. I was going to skate and do all this stuff. Now I have to fly home, right? Like the day or two after the tournament. And then I have to, I get home the day before Thanksgiving. And I'm obviously going to munch Thanksgiving. Oh, There's yeah. No ifs, hits, or buts. I already pre-ordered one of my favorite I already, holidays. I already pre-ordered an apple crumb pie from the bakery. Ooh, uh, apple crumb pie, dude. Oh, dude, don't even get me started. I've been into the crumbs. Anything with yeah, the, crumb, the crumb. It's crummy. The crusty. Victor crumb. Crusty cinnamon sugar crumb, dude. Victor crumb. Victor crumb. <laughs> shout out to him, dude. <laughs> um, R.I.P. He's the one who died. Yeah, right? he did die. Yeah. Was it? No. No, he didn't die. Cedric, I'm thinking uh, Cedric, Cedric, yeah. Cedric the Entertainer. Yeah. <laughs> Cedric Diggory. Cedric Diggory. Um, but so then I get. I get home day for Thanksgiving, much on Thanksgiving, have six days to cut it all out again and fly to Tokyo and make weight and fight again. Six days. Yeah, because yeah, you just have to only eat Thanksgiving. And you know when I get home, though, on the way home from the airport from Chile, I'm stopping at McDonald's. I've been craving McDonald's so Mickey badly. <sighs> Dude, I've just been craving a Big Mac, a McChicken sandwich, some nuggets, and a pop. And a large fry? And I get the fries large there? Fry. Well, I get the Big Mac meal. Okay. Yeah. I'm not a Big Mac fan, dude. Oh, it's too much bun. If they had a bigger patty and on there, I heard maybe. the quarter pounder is the move. Because it's just oh. a Big Mac without the extra bread, and it's more meat. Well, it doesn't have the sauce on there. You can get it. 
You can get Big Mac. Here's here's a tip. I was gonna say, get a Big you Mac with Mac quarter pounders. Anything. No, get a Big Mac, but have them put quarter pounders on there. <laughs> can you do that? That would be a move. Well, why don't you just get the quarter pounder with the Big Mac sauce? Because it doesn't have the three buns. Yeah. Well, I could take. It was on the bun. sesame seed bun. Yeah, the sesame seed bun. Gets- <laughs> get a Big Mac with the two <laughs> QPs on there. Dude. Hey, can you do a uh, Big Mac but two quarter pounders? That's a half pound of burger, baby. Oh my god! And then uh, I I've done two quarter pounders before. Oh baby, yeah. What? Why no, I don't think quarter I've done pounders. two. I've done I've done a quarter pounder, a McDouble, and like a McChicken for sure. Why don't you get two quarter pounders? And just take one of the pieces of bread off and stick. Yeah, them you could do that, yeah. Ah. But it's I not the same because the the Big Mac has a a different bun. Oh, is that what it, it has? Is? The sesame seed bun. Not all of them do. Maybe the quarter pounder might. I get the I get sure the McChicken with Big Mac sauce. Oh, it's so good. See, I'm not the Big Mac sauce doesn't do. It's just it doesn't do it for me. Yeah, I'm just not a Big Mac guy. I don't. I've tried them. I think I'm gonna like them. Are you an animal style? Don't. Yeah, animal at In and Out. Oh yeah. Yeah. But I don't usually do my burger animal style. Oh, you do the fries. Just the fries, yeah. yeah that's a game changer. <sighs> yeah, dude. I don't know. Oh, but, I yeah, question. that's gonna be tough to I mean, yeah, it'll be tough. But you already be at weight. Uh it's debatable because I'm gonna be munching in uh Chile, the second oh, I stop fighting. The second you done. Oh yeah, how many days you got before? I got you come two home? days of eating in Chile. Well, three if you count the rest of my day after the tournament. So <laughs> you just um, get uh, it's gonna I, be tough. Dude, sure. And the problem is in the village, it's not even the best food, but they have endless supply of food. So you can all you can eat? eat all you can eat, baby. They have ice cream in there. Oh yeah. Ice oh, hot and then they have like a, a a bar you could go to. They got it all. Uh, wait, did you say a bar? Yeah, there's like a party area for the athletes. With get like cocktails, with free beer. cocktail. Is everything free? I think the drinks are free. If I don't, if I remember, it's, correctly. it's like the Delta Lounge, baby. Yeah, <laughs> it's, like, it's like the lounge, dude. Like shitty food, Delta but it's Lounge. all you can eat. Yeah, they. I remember I was eating like Chuck E. Cheese pizza in Peru on in the village. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it is. Chuck E. Cheese equivalent, but uh, dude, the lounge right now has a drink. Delta Lounge. Are you flying Delta on the way home? Uh, yes. Well, I'm flying. Yeah, Delta. Because you won't be able to drink on the way there. You might. You can get this drink called the uh, um, what is it? Dirty Buffalo. Brown buffalo? I think it's a brown buffalo. <laughs> it is so good, dude. What is it? It's got like uh Buffalo Trace. It's it's a bourbon. It's yeah, bourbon. Buffalo Trace. Um bourbon with uh there's like the what's it called? Like the the coffee liqueur stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like shreds of like cocoa on there. Cacao. And then with like a cream, like a oh. something, you know. What I mean? Oh my god, it's so good. Uh, it's it's in the uh, you got to pay or use dude, miles. I don't know if they're gonna let like me six get bucks. into the lounge. I don't have the pass. Oh yeah, yeah. So, yeah no, and no, I'm gonna no. try and maneuver something, but they're not. Are you stopping on the way home anywhere? No. Okay, so yeah, you're not even gonna hit the lounge. Yeah. Why not? Is there, I mean, is there is there one in Chile? I don't know. I don't know if they're going to have one in Chile. But I'm flying to Atlanta tomorrow and then Atlanta to Chile. Which is kind of annoying because I have to fly three hours to Atlanta just to meet up with everyone and then fly nine hours to Chile. When you're going direct home? Ten hours direct. Yeah. Oh. But that'll be nice. Yeah. I mean, I'd really like to fly direct too. Same. Talk talk to you guys when we get there. (laughs) But I told you, right? I I spent the time on the phone. Yeah, you got bumped up. Row 10 or something? Yeah. Bulkhead, what do you say? Baby. And you were not Comfort Plus. No, I was not. I was very back. I was like 50. Do you give them the blind two. spiel? Yeah, give them the blind spiel. And, and they put they, you. Yeah, you say, I need extra room. I need to. Uh, it's really helpful if I could be close to the bathroom. Um, you son of a bitch. I know. I say I don't like asking people to get up. So if it's bulkhead possible. 
Wow. Yeah. And it works a lot of the times. So. Works. Because they do. This is how I preface it, though. This is a pro tip here, Jerry. So listen. <laughs> Let me get laid out. I me. preface it. Listen, Um. yeah, whatever airline it is. So say it's Delta. <laughs> say, Delta's always been super accommodating with this in the past. Uh, they, they help me every mm-hmm. time. You guys are amazing. You mm-hmm. got to start with that. Mm-hmm. It's in their head, like, oh, we already do this. We have to, yeah. We have to maintain this. Yeah, oh. uh, exactly. You put it on them. Put it on them, dude. Because I know they do mark. If it's row ten, they only usually mark those seats off. They're always crossed yes, off. They are they, for for reasons for like those, this. Yes. First, uh, if you have a service dog, a wheelchair, or right, you know, blind. Yeah. Wow. It really makes a difference. It does, though. Especially getting up is if you're not on the aisle, dude, ask, blind. Oh, you know I got to be on the aisle. Navigating is I'm like. going to be going to the torture. bathroom every five minutes the way oh, I'm yeah, drinking water. water. Yeah. Yeah. Because I need to. I can't have the. Be the biggest misconception when cutting weight. People think you get the window seat. You sleep the whole flight. You don't get any weight. Not true, because you retain the cabin air is so poorly filtered that you're like, it's just anything you put in your body, it's just you're blowing up like a balloon. So you if get you pretty water, dehydrated keeps, on those. Yeah, plants, and yeah. if you drink water, it keeps going through you, and you just keeps push it all out. out. Yeah. Interesting. Pro tip, dude. Pro tip for all you. Dude, I, I almost got scammed today. For what? Very close to getting scammed on Facebook Marketplace. No, Facebook Marketplace. Don't go on there. Selling my couch. No, I, I've oh, had Facebook Marketplace. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've had nothing oh, but great I've got experiences. So many scam messages on there. Nothing but great experiences up till now. So I'm selling this couch. Okay. It's a pretty much a new couch. Wait, the one that you've a had? A year old. Yep. I got a new one. Really? The couch, the couch that I've always wanted. Ooh. Leather yeah, thing, dude. No, it's it's down. It's the most comfortable. Where do you sit on this thing? Dude? Oh my god, I'm gonna sleep. It is amazing. The couch now, it's too stiff for me. everyone. Says they love it, but I'm like, I- I'm not feeling it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I kind of feel that. And I wanted a it's nice little bit. It's big. It's really big. It's a beautiful couch. Yeah, it definitely it looks nicer than the one I got. But this other one is like. Really, really plush. I like really soft plush. What stuff. color is the new one? Ah, uh, same color as this one, like a light okay. gray. Same color and as the one. The hair does okay on it. Yeah, not bad. You know, we got to We're always vacuuming. We got to vacuum this damn thing every freaking day, dude. It sucks, but so uh, this thing's posted. It's a big chunk. It's like twenty four hundred. I got this thing posted for. And somebody reaches out. They're like, "Hey, uh, looking to like, hey, is this still available? Yes." Um, I'm really interested in it. Can I, uh, uh, what is it? What do they say? Something like, can I have movers come pick it up uh, tomorrow or Wednesday? And I was like, sure. Those, whatever day works good. We can line it up. They're like, okay, let me get back to you and figure out, uh, talk to the movers and see, see what needs to be done. You know, five, Mm -hmm. 10 minutes go by another message. Okay. So they can pick it up. Um, I will, I'm going to send you, talk with my bank. They're going to, I'm going to write an electronic, get an electronic check sent to you. No can do. Which is normal. Okay. I've, I I looked this up further later too. I'm like, oh yeah, that's instantly. Yeah. I'm like, "Ah, this seems a little iffy, but I'm like, well, I'm not giving them any information. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, if as long as I can cash this check in my account, then I'm good. Money's in the account, right? Right. So they're like, but they can okay, only dispute with the bank. Well, this is I found this something else later after this. Okay. So they're like, okay, talk with the movers. I'm just gonna. It costs five hundred for the movers. I'm just gonna uh, send you a check for the twenty nine hundred total, and then you pay the movers when they come. And I'm like, this, something's a little off here, dude. I'm already getting iffy, getting a little squirrely. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'm just waiting for him to send this check to see if this is real. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 
couple minutes, like, you know, 20, 30 minutes go by. Like, okay, got the check sent. Should be in your email. Oh. Um, let, let me know when it goes through. So I open, I open the email and there's a, a, you know, a check or whatever that you're supposed to scan on your mobile app mm -hmm. and deposit the money. And I'm like, this does not seem right. So I go up, I go on YouTube and I just search, um, how do scammers use an electronic check? And I start watching a couple of videos, <laughs> right? YouTube. And good old YouTube saved me. And I get this one guy who says a very similar story to what I'm saying, but he got mailed a check. Okay. So and what they do it? is, is you cash the check and then you pay the movers or whatever it is, the X amount, you know? So right. I would have paid the movers like 500 bucks. And then it's actually a fake check. But the bank doesn't know this until a day later, like a, like a week yeah, or two yeah, later, yeah. they pull that money back onto your account Uh huh. and you're out to five or whatever money you paid the thing. Dude. So I'm like, Oh my God, this was a close call. What I didn't realize that you could cash a check unless a check is good. I thought that was a point of a fucking check. No, dude, I cashed a check the other day that I got you know paid what I'm saying? for a gig and I did the mobile deposit put the money in my account a couple of days later. Yeah. This check, uh, did not work. We're taking Hold the money back. out of your account. Crazy. The, the, the length that scammers are going through these days are very elaborate. Dude, it was dude. I tried selling a laptop on Facebook marketplace and I, uh, I was getting all these messages and it would be like, can you, mail me the computer and yeah. I'll, I'll like zell like i'll i'll paypal you and you could like dispute paper like there's yeah. so many scams and i would be like oh we're selling this and Kelly right. so, and be like no yeah i thought it was sold dude These did you tell them to go themselves well i'm like and then i said i was like i was like Give me, i was like why well, I, I messed him at that i was like bank said this check is fake and they're like, what do you mean? <laughs> I was like, give me a call. We'll discuss. And he's like, I'm on base. I can only message. I can only I've talk. gotten me on base too. Yeah. I can only talk on the weekends. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, what base? And they're like Marine Corps reserves. I'm like, oh, who's your commander? I spent some time there. <laughs> and they're like, what their response was like, this isn't an interview. And I was like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> this, this is a scam. I've already reported you. Did tell them to go fuck themselves. Yeah. This is a scam. I already reported you. And then they left the conversation. Oh so. man. That's amazing. <laughs> you let them have it, dude. Oh, these fucking guys or who girl, whoever it is, dude. Robots. I, I don't know what it is. Like it was, that, I, but you could tell, you know, from the beginning, I'm like, this doesn't sound right. So you got to just listen to your gut. Really? The best is when you piss them off and they start gaslighting you like you oh, yeah. the one with the problem. I love <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That point, dude. They try to some of them I are go had, some of them lie with the die or die have, with a lie, dude. You know the scam calls about like the 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 uh car insurance and all that shit? Yeah. I've yeah. had a guy that said go f he's like fuck your mother. Really? Like he's gotten so pissed. <laughs> yeah. Like they've called me a piece of shit and like all this stuff and I'm like wow. Whoa, man! Like that—that that wasn't this is a little uncalled for. Don't you want my money? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they get so pissed. Like they, their whole demeanor changes, and they're like, "Fuck you!" And it's almost yeah. like scary. They're like, whoa! If it's an if it's an Indian person, a great insult is Don Chode. What I is that? I think that's what it, it means, like sister fucker. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like really insulting to to like to that culture. That's the one I always pull on if it's a, a scammer. Yeah. It's oh got the Indian accent. I'll always, I'll, my boy told, told me to do this and I've been doing it. I, I kind of string them along a little bit. Yeah, you got to string them. And then I'll try to fix, fit in a way of like, if it's like a, a check or something, I'll be like, oh, do you want me to write that to Don Chode? And then they'll be like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> get all pissed oh off. My or something. God. You got to get a good insult for, insult for each, each culture. Yeah, dude. It's Almost better than Captain Jones. Yeah. These scammers, though, do they almost? I mean, that was 
I just didn't think you could cash something unless it would go through. I know. I, you know what I mean? Like that's uh, crazy. No, you're not saying. I guess dude, it's because it's a, guess, a, maybe because it's a mobile deposit. It is. I think that's part of it. Because if you went to the bank, I think they, they would, would be like, they would be able to they, tell. That's the okay. problem. Is everyone knows you're all doing mobile deposits. Ah, that's yeah. the trick. Huh? And like I said, like people can send you money too through like Zelle or or uh, PayPal, uh-huh. and they can call the bank and say they didn't issue this and it was a scam. And then they'll pull so they, that back. Yeah, on they'll account. pull it back. Couldn't then? Could you not dispute that? Probably and get it back. God, it's just weird. such a headache. You know how many people probably don't, right? And it used to be they just called old people and get their money through uh-huh. like different things, and just preying on the uh, yeah. And now it's doing it to everyone, better. dude. They're getting good. They are. They're getting. It used to be elaborate. right back in the day. It was it was so obvious. Any yeah. call or something or email, like oh, this is clearly a, yeah. Oh, it'd be like my blah 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 is in. I'm a prince from yeah. wherever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need. We have ten million dollars for you. Yeah, exactly, dude. Now it's they're good, dude. Yeah, they're getting really sneaky. Sketch me out with the Facebook Marketplace, though, dude. No, I've gotten tons of scam <sighs> messages from Facebook Marketplace when I'm selling something. Man, and the, the more expensive had... the item is, yeah, maybe the, that's the, it. Cause I've never sold something scam. this big. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what. Usually it's most I've spent or spent souls, like maybe a couple hundred bucks. But when did you put it up? Uh last night. Oh, and you already had to deal with this, yeah. This morning, yeah. I thought it was sold. I was like, oh sweet. Yeah. Right. Yeah, knock it now, so, but now I yeah, now now I know, know a little bit better. I can pretty much right off the bat be like, okay. Oh, yeah. then dude, <laughs> ten minutes later, not even ten minutes later, I posted on this site i was like hey i need a plumber to come to the house to figure out this water issue yeah. getting, getting water to my basement and i get a guy message me hey i'm a plumber I, I can i can do the work i'm like oh sweet like you in my areas what's your address message my address oh, i was like pissed he's like he's like yeah i could i could come by when are you free i was like I, i'm open today if you can he's like yeah i can come by today um i'm gonna i'm gonna head your way now like uh, what do you say? Just need to pay me a pull-up fee. Oh. And I'm like, pull-up fee? What are you talking about? He's like, uh, money for gas. I gotta, I gotta get there. And oh I'm like, I'm like, oh God. my God, is this another scam? So I said something around. I was like, can you run a trout line too? Which is a, a fishing term, not even a plumbing term. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I can do that too. Oh, then you knew it was. A <laughs> then I was like, this motherfucker, dude. Like, uh, can you do dishes? That one, I just just blocked them right away. Yeah, dude, that's sketchy because you gave him the address. I know, yeah. Oh, that's... pull up, fam. I pull up. What is? Yo, I'm a pull, pull up. up. Yeah, I was like, what pull is this? A, this is a drive by? Did we talk about pull what is this, up? A CrossFit gym. I'm gonna pull up on him, dude. No, doing burpees too. Yeah, dude. I almost got scared. People trying to scam me all day today, dude. <laughs> Today's a scam Monday. Oh my god, dude. Scam Dan. Jeez, Facebook is just going garbage, man. Yeah, it is. Clean it up, Meta. Use your fucking algorithm for something positive, maybe. Instead of trying to sell me ads, dude. And fix your damn (laughs) inbox thing on Instagram. It's been two years. Oh, my God. You can't switch to general and... Start it, dude. Yeah. Still not working. Yep. Nope, I have to turn voiceover off and guess where it is. Turn it back on and hope I press the right... (laughs) I haven't even done. I don't even. I probably got a bunch of messages in there, dude. Sorry, peeps. Yeah, it's a frustration. Scam Monday, though. Yeah. Anybody want to buy a couch for real, though? Let me know. <laughs> 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 got to get rid of the old one by Thanksgiving, dude. When's is that when the new one's coming? Or do you already got? Yeah, that? it's new one's coming like Monday or Tuesday. Have you sat on it yet? Oh yeah, I sat on oh. this couch uh, three years ago. Oh, you haven't stopped thinking about it since. And I bought the. I don't know why I why didn't did buy, buy that couch. One? I just bought this one because I remember it being really expensive. So I bought this one, but I spent I just spent like four grand on this couch. Damn, on a couch? The one we have right now. Holy shit! <clears throat> yeah, the couches are expensive as shit. It's more dude. expensive than my whole bed and bed frame. 
are so expensive. That's insanity. But I've been thinking about couches from fucking anywhere you go. They're crazy, dude. It's uh, it's I wonder how much a leather couch is. Oh, it's gotta be over grand or over like six. It's like ten, fifteen thousand for a nice leather. Shit, like thirty k for like a nice one. My uncle gave us a really nice leather couch. I'm like, maybe. Dude, when I first moved to Cal, I think I told the story. When I first moved to California, we went to like, like a thrift store, and we were looking for a couch. Oh God! And there was a leather one there. It must have been like three hundred bucks. And we're like, oh yes, dude, this thing is sick. It had like a, it had Bed the bugs. had the full couch and then the the second chair off to the side too. Oh, nice, mean? like the L. No, we're walking out the door with this thing. This guy's like, I'll give you, I'll give you five hundred for that right now. And we're like, no, no, no. no. He's like, I'll give you a thousand, a thousand right now. Shut up. We're like, nope, dude, we're out. And then we knew, like, oh, we just got a deal. But now I really know, like, yeah, that couch is worth, yeah, probably. Oh, you guys didn't sell it to him? Hell no. We were stoked, dude. Was it a nice couch? It was really nice. It was a really nice couch. I'll give you a thousand. Like, we just by chance walked in. It must have just gotten there, dude, because we got it. That must have been a really good find, because if the guy's offering a grand, he knows it's worth, like, 12. We got so lucky. Yeah, it was that. It was probably worth a couple grand, I'm sure. His wife probably sent him down there to get that cow. (laughs) You were like, yeah, he probably saw it to come back with the cash or something, dude. And he was bummed, yeah. Bunch of skate bums got it. And we just destroyed that thing, dude. I think we all moved out and just left it. (laughs) Couch surfing. How many people slept on that couch? A lot of people slept on that couch, dude. Lots of Pat Galloway, random girlfriends that would come in town, all the skate friends. Yeah, nice couch though, dude. Leather. I'm not. I'm not a fan of the leather couch though. It's too tough. It's tough, and then it sticks to your skin. I like being bareback on that thing. That's yeah. nasty. Well, see, my grandpa, they got. And my grandma, when they would travel, they would get really nice furniture from other countries. And they, really? That was their thing? Yeah, they loved it. They would get, like, alligator skin stuff and, like, <laughs> crazy yeah. shit, dude, like cow rugs. And uh, I will say they have always had the most comfortable furniture because it gets broken in. And you, mm. like, he has the couches where you, like, sink in these things. And, yeah. like, you, it's hard to get out. You're like, I just want to stay here. I've taken dude. many yeah. naps, even in yeah. just chairs. Wait, do you sit on this couch, dude? Good love seat. Do you sink into this couch? You, it's saw you. Oh. The there's pillows, these down pillows, and then the actual couch itself, like the base, also has a layer layer of padding on it too. Oh baby. You know most couches are just like the spring and box underneath the pillows. You know what I mean? What if this Otter rips double. that thing? Is it just all feathers? If he ripped it, there'd be down feathers everywhere. Yeah. Oh. He doesn't really go on the couch. Yeah, that's true. He doesn't lay on the couch at all. He doesn't like going up there. He'll put his paws up there. Today, he did put front paws on and look out the window when Heather came yeah. home. Like, oh, I didn't know you did that, dude. That's what Delta <laughs> he does. Was up. Yeah, I think he learned it from Delta. Oh, yeah, he definitely did. Because I think he learned that move because he never did it before. The, yeah. Delta would sit on the top of the back and just yeah, yeah. stare out the window. Stare out that window. Like, yeah, where them squirrels at? And uh, she'll she'll literally sit because our bed faces the window to the main street, and mm-hmm. she'll sit if she sees something out there. She will sit on the edge of the bed by my head for not even joking, like two hours in the middle of the night, just staring. <laughs> and she does like a sphinx pose and just just sitting stare. there, yeah, just right, just scanning the yard. Oh yeah, that's funny. Couches, dude, they expensive, bro. Home ownership, they're just expensive, dude. Yeah, once you buy the house, you gotta furnish the entire thing. Yeah, that's it's I, another twenty, thirty. Because Leo was telling you about this guy knows how to save a buck. He's like, if you go, he bought a house, true bachelor. He's got a bed <laughs> and a chair, yeah. TV, and then he's got takeout. Cups like to go cups as yeah. as cups as, as, as like yeah. plastic silverware. Does he does he have a kitchen table? I don't think so. That's that's when you know, dude. Yeah. When you don't have the kitchen table. But then he's got a Tesla. Does he? Yeah. 
He's That's so funny. safe. Likes to spend his money on what he wants he, to. Yeah. He used to go to my aunt's house when he moved out, like his ma, and he used to bring a a water bottle that was empty and fill it up with their milk just so he had milk for his like <laughs> cereal or coffee or whatever. Like, yeah. He was next. He's He's next saving them 10 bucks here and there. That's hilarious, dude. Goes a long way. It adds up, dude. Can't bring it to the grave. Though. Kitchen table. You're talking another couple thousand for, dude, a, table. for a nice one for like oh. a wooden one. See, when we, we furnished our apartment with trash day, there you we go, went dude. And went garbage picking because yeah, we live in a nice town. So like people were throwing away like really nice stuff. Yeah, I they a were. lamp. I was like, Kelly was anti me taking this lamp from the garbage. I think you told me this. This yeah. thing, yeah, it was so nice. <laughs> Waterford Crystal, it's a pineapple, and it's like eight hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, eight hundred dollar lamp. It, yeah. <laughs> like what the hell, dude? That is true. In the nice neighborhoods, you can get some good garbage oh, picking done. Dude, they have like those armoires or whatever. Like, yeah, nice like dressers and shit. Really nice stuff. Dude, yeah. Back then, they used to be free. Nowadays, people are kind of onto it too. You know? Yeah. No, people come from out of town with the yeah, just to come through the nice yeah. neighborhoods. And I wanted. I almost. We don't even have a cement in our back alley. It's all like stone. But I found a a. <laughs> basketball hoop like a nice one and i was oh, hell yeah back there dude and i went to get it and it was like broken i was so bummed oh uh, damn it would have been the move i gotta get a hoop somewhere at the house too huh oh yeah because you used to have one yeah i have to get one for the in the skate park set it up yeah dude yeah. skate basketball yeah skateball skateball Yeah, man. I'm trying to furnish this house, dude. You're pretty much there. That house is pretty much furnished. Yeah, we're the, I, it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. That couch um, is the icing on the cake. Now I'm just, yeah, kind of getting the things that I've always kind of really wanted. Yeah. <laughs> nice things. Dude, I've been just, what time is it? We got time? Uh, we got like a couple minutes. Yeah. I've just been working, dr- doing this drywall, dude. Just, I in the beginning, to ask you, that's the, I'm glad in the beginning, up. it's fun, dude. Working on the house, and especially my first house, little projects. But then slowly, it's it more and more. It just feels like work now. A chore. Over it. <laughs> How do you do? Do you do it by yourself? Yeah, I've been doing it all solo. How do you map that out? I had Heather. I had Heather do the mudding, which is like filling in the cracks with the the uh, spackling and stuff. You know. Yeah. That's that's tough. Cause it's but kind of a visual you, thing. How do you? It's do pretty you simple. Drive? Like, well, I had to like add a. I had to frame out what I was gonna do. Which here it had like the base two by four and the bottom two by the top and bottom two by four. So I just had to add studs, which are the two by fours that go from the floor up to the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Like every you do them every sixteen inches is like standard. So you just put one of those I in every. No, this shit. Just from. Just over, yeah, just yeah. learning. Actually, my ex, Bernadette's dad, taught me generally how to, like, frame and do drywall. Did you learn this stuff when you could see? Yeah. So do you think, this is but where I, kinda... I want to get to. Do you think, like, using all these power tools that you've used and, like, doing, like, drywalling and framing, all that stuff, do you think you would still do it if you didn't learn it when you could see, would you teach yourself? Yeah, fun? yeah, I think so. You don't think it would like give you more anxiety? No, I mean, if you're into it, you know what I mean? It's like anything. If it's something that you get into, yeah, like, you learn how to do it. You know, I've met people who are born blind who like they do woodworking. Yeah, there's people, you know, and they're running like table know, saws, right. like doing yeah. it all. You know what I mean? A lathe or whatever. Yeah, doing all that stuff. So if like you're into it, yeah, you, yeah. you learn it for sure. Just like anything, you know. I just get so overwhelmed that I'm doing. It, it, I don't want to do is, any part wrong. It gets overwhelming, and I'm like, yeah, oh, I try I have so like OCD hard. in that. I think yes, I try OCD. so hard, and it always comes off just a little bit off. I'm like, yeah, oh my God, this is hard. Like even you with that fence, that would have pissed me off so bad <laughs> it's a pain in the i ass, dude, dude i because i want to do everything perfect when it comes to that stuff yeah like uh what is it called like uh perfectionist kind of yeah but like uh maintenance like manicuring stuff like just like visual stuff i want it to come out looking good like landscaping just like anything like anything, anything like, like yeah. that that requires like 
usually someone to see where yeah, nice going. straight lines. Yeah, and... I want it to look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm really proud of the fence that I put up. I'm yeah, more stoked on that than the drywall. My drywall is all lumpy, dude. <laughs> that see that that would piss me off. But it's a basement, so I'm not that worried. Yeah, I guess then it, it's not a big deal. Yeah. But but the drywall is easy. You just like the sheets to cut a piece of drywall. All you need is a, is a razor blade or like yeah, a I box. Cut, I wouldn't cut a straight line. But like, yeah, I have to. I use like a piece of like a two by four piece of wood. So like, um, so you can measure, you know, with a tape measure, and then use that on the drywall and you set have a the braille lines. tape measure. Uh, I have a talking one, but I literally just set, you can lock the tape measure to whatever yeah. size it is, you know? So I'll measure and then lock it and then use that as my guide. To go as a straight line too? Not a straight line. Two by four for a straight line. If say I'm cutting like a foot off of the piece of drywall, mm -hmm. I would use that tape measure and put like, I put the tape measure down at the end of the sheet and then put a little piece of tape right on that line piece of duct tape and then go to the other end same thing put a piece of tape there then i would take a two by four and then i could put the two by four at each end of the drywall mm -hmm. at the tape mark you know what i mean yeah then i know that, that that's a straight line straight across the drywall and then just lean on the two by four and you just like you just score a mark along the drywall and then once you bend that drywall it'll break at its weakest point so where it's scored it'll just pop yeah just like that i see what you're saying you pop it up i see i get like i think i i get so mental that it's mentally draining for me each it is very yeah it, you it's know what i mean mental. it's a lot of mental yeah, where it would yeah. take someone who's sighted like zip 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 yeah so much that's faster yeah. yeah it's annoying yeah it's yeah. annoying but uh, yeah and the drywall you can have some air you know what i mean because then you put the molding on which is just goes along the bottom and top like the trim, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it cleans up all those imperfections, imperfections in the lines and stuff like yeah. that. So yeah, it came together. The molding is, that's the tough part. You got to be like dead on with the measurements on that. Otherwise your little corners won't match up. And Yeah. It definitely looks a little sloppy dude, but if we're a basement dude, it looks great. So it doesn't piss you off that it's sloppy? No, it's not sloppy enough to where it's like, most people wouldn't notice the imperfections. Well, you know what I mean? You'd yeah. have to really know drywall and all that stuff. Oh, to like, okay. So like know it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not that sloppy to the eye. The, like, no. Yeah. Untrained no. eye. No. I <laughs> did put the one sheet of drywall on. The first sheet I put up, I didn't know there was a front and back to it. Which there is. Oh, no. One, one side is green or blue or something. Green. Yeah. Green. And the other is like, like white. It's for moisture, but... One, and then the other side's white and I was feeling it and the, the other side is like you can feel like waves in it I'm like did I fucking put this on backwards and sure enough I checked the other piece I'm like, yep there's a front and a back so did you have to redo it nope you just Heather, it. Heather just has to do a second layer of paint on there oh man to cover up that because the first coat of white didn't fully block it it's, and it's a little wavy when you feel it but you can't when I got a house I'm gonna fly you out we're gonna drywall it be fun dude yeah. It's fun, you know, it's fun for the first fucking day. And then by day three, I'm like, oh my God, am I over this? Yeah, that's how I would feel. I, I would feel so accomplished like the first day. And then I'd be yeah. like, oh, I got to do this again more. But it does when you're done. It feels great. Like my fence, I'm stoked on, dude. Fucking yeah. nailed it, dude. Yeah, I'm, that's that's a good feeling. You put a lot of work into that. Yeah, dude, it's a lot. Speaking of done, <sighs> done. Episode. Sorry about my phone calls there. I entertained. Yep. I kept it going, dude. I held it down. Oh well, yeah. Good luck in Chile, dude. Thanks, we'll man. Have to when you this, we'll this. have to record quickly because you only got a few days there. I huh? know. We're gonna have to record quick and uh hopefully Will this be after Thanksgiving episode? No, this is gonna be next weekend. Um this coming weekend? Yeah, like I will be fighting while this is going on. Oh yeah, and then, oh yeah, because you said you get back the Day before the twenty second, okay. yeah. Yep, yep. Okay. Yep. All right. All, All right. right. Well, uh, wish me luck, and uh, hopefully by the time you're hearing this, I have a gold medal in Chile. Yeah, baby. Did you find a hotel? Yeah, I found a good one for Kel. Did you see my comment on your thing? No, I guess. <laughs> when you asked about hotels, you got a lot of good suggestions. That was you. I didn't even read the name. I don't think. 
Oh, the one the the motel I had to leave the light on for you. Yeah. Oh uh, wait, no, I didn't see your. I didn't. Oh, that was mine. I said <laughs> yeah. you should do you should do a motel I had to leave the light on for you, even though you won't need it. But you know, very cheesy joke. <laughs> but, yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace out, uptown down. Uh, peace up, a town down. I mean. Yeah. Uh, As always, keep pushing and. One love. Keep pushing and one love from four bad eyes.